Uh, what's up, everybody? I'm Chicken Monkey, and this is uh, Mr. Roy. Roy. Roy San. Hello. <laughs> <laughs> you can call me that, I suppose. <laughs> <laughs> Roy Senpai. <laughs> wow! <laughs> classic, classic uh, Japanese style, right? Well, you're yeah, gonna yeah. have you're gonna have a new fandom. Everyone's just gonna call you Roy Senpai. <laughs> Roy Senpai. Anyways, anyways, so uh, I want to hear your story about uh, how you ended up in Japan because I never heard that story before, and I'm sure that's something a lot of people who find your content will might be interested in hearing. Yeah, fair enough. Um, so for me, look. I feel like it. I've got like a common kind of reason with like a lot of other foreigners who come to Japan. It all started back when like you know we were watching before school uh, TV shows, namely okay. Pokemon, Dragon Ball Z, right? Anime, right? It comes from Japan, but sure, you know, sure, sure. I just I thought it was American TV, but. <laughs> <laughs> Later on in life, um, I discovered that you know this this stuff that I was watching uh, is actually coming from a different culture. Uh, it's coming from Japan, and I'm like, oh, okay. So this might explain like a few things, a few differences about the culture that I'm seeing in the TV shows. You know, like Ash Ketchum would always take his shoes off before going inside, kind of thing. You know, uh, they would stop for a break, and he would be eating on a guinea. And I'm like, what is that? <laughs> uh, so these small kind of differences, like, they they kind of just, like, make you interested. And so I thought, okay, let's have a, like, a further, a deeper look into this. And I discovered it was uh, anime. And then I, from there, I watched my first anime movie, which was uh, Spirited Away. Um, ah, okay. Right? And, you know, I fell in love with it. It was great. And it was mainly the bright colors and just the art style. I really appreciate the art style. Um, and so I just kind of really, really became to love anime. And of course, the more you watch, the more invested you become in all of this <laughs> cultural stuff. Uh, to the yeah. point where I thought, you know what, I'm going to move to this country and experience all of this for myself. And here I am today. All right. Well, yeah. what if I told you I've never seen Spirited Away? No way. <laughs> yeah. Really? <laughs> True. Really? True story, man. True story. I know okay. the story, but I've never actually watched it. No way. Have you watched any Ghibli films? No. Not at all. No, I've never seen a Ghibli movie. Holy oh, dude. Okay, uh, do, you, do you like anime? Uh, yeah, it's okay. Uh, I wouldn't say I'm, I'm a huge anime fan, but I've watched it a couple times, and like, my friends suggest something. If I'm interested in it, I'll check it out. Uh, like, for me, uh, I think one of my favorite, most favorite animes was uh, actually a tennis anime, and that's just because I like tennis. Which one? Uh, it's called Baby Steps. Oh, I've never heard of that one. Yeah, it's more like a realistic anime, or like a realistic approach to tennis. Okay. It's pretty dope. Yeah, um, I watched some real, um, some real anime versions of tennis, if you know what I mean. <laughs> Where they've basically <laughs> got superpowers. <laughs> oh, yeah, yeah, like Prince, I think it's like Prince of Tennis. Prince of Tennis, yeah. yeah, yeah I fucking yeah, yeah. love that show. Yeah, I watched like one episode and I'm just like, wait. That's not legit. <laughs> yeah. Uh, um, but okay, oh, by the so way, I, uh, you, you're yeah. from Australia, right? Yes, I'm from Australia. Born okay. and raised. I just want to say one more thing about like uh, the reason I came to Japan. Sure, uh, sure. Just because the, the weave answer is sometimes just not good enough. Uh, <laughs> slash, it's kind of embarrassing. Like really, there's a lot of like weave chaining out there. I wouldn't call myself a weave, but there's a lot of weave chaining. And I don't like giving that as my sole reason for moving to Japan. Alright, um, well, what do you define one? as a weeb, though? A weeb? Uh, uh, like me, but on like a more intense scale. Uh, <laughs> okay. <laughs> so when I was working in Sydney, I was raised in Australia in a small country town called Port Macquarie. Uh, okay. Seaside country town kind of thing. And the entire city 
is white, right? There's like one Asian family in the entire city. And when I moved to Sydney to go study uh, mm -hmm. at university, like I began to be more immersed with different cultures. And I eventually started to work. Uh, and I was the only white guy in my office uh, who could only speak one language. And <laughs> no, it's. I was ashamed of myself at that point that I had been so fucking whitewashed in white society that I've never been put myself out of my comfort zone and lived in a in a in a country that didn't speak my native language or bothered to try and learn a different language and like understand what all of these people in my country are going through and you know being. Uh, Having people be, you know, prejudiced against them. Kind of okay. Thing. So yeah, I, I had to experience that for myself. I had to put myself out of my com comfort zone, learn another language. Otherwise, I would die a sad, inexperienced man. <laughs> All right. So is that yeah. like a part two of why you moved to Japan then? That's to be completely honest. Uh, you could say the anime was like the like. The seed, the, the, the planting of the seed, and the desire to go see the rest of the world and put myself out of my comfort zone is the okay. real, true reason. Yes. Mm -hmm. Nice. Live, live a life I'm proud of. And do you want to talk about uh, your girlfriend? You moved here by yourself? My wife. Oh! Oh, excuse me. I apologize. <laughs> Your wife. <laughs> yeah. So we uh, so we both decided. Uh, yeah, we're going to do this whole move to Japan thing. We're like, okay, let's basically just you know start our lives <laughs> anew, I suppose. So we decided we we're going to quit our jobs in Sydney. Okay. We were going to get married, and then a few weeks after we got married we decided we would pick up our lives and move to a different country. Um, Dang, that so is... It was, like, uh, it was a whole lot of changes really quickly. Yeah. yeah. So you you actually weren't married before you moved... You, mo oh, you got married before you moved to Japan, right? Yes. Like okay, two okay. weeks. Uh, three weeks before we moved. <laughs> oh my goodness. Did you yeah. have a honeymoon or was like moving to Japan your honeymoon? That was our honeymoon. So we arrived in Japan and we did camper van traveling for about one and a half to two months and that was out. Oh, interesting. Yep. Yep. Oh, okay. My ideal honeymoon, really. Camp event. <laughs> <laughs> so would you say you're, you're more like countryside type of person or do you like prefer a city? 100% countryside. Yeah, I, I love the benefits of the city, but my heart always longs for countryside, open fields, uh, peace, nature, gotcha, gotcha. and friendly people, friendly people. Nice, nice. Well, In both um, Australia. I would say yeah. I'm the opposite then. I mean, when I was a child, my, my family took us like every year up to the mountains in Georgia in the States. And uh, I love that. But like, as I got older, I'm just like, nah, nah I prefer the city. <laughs> yeah. Uh, what about it? Hustle, hustle. Um, it, it's just, I guess, the convenience and the amenities. Oh, yeah. Um, what do you mean by amenities? Amenities is mean like having a nice shower and nice toilet and nice bed and, you know. I mean, <laughs> like, when I say countryside, I don't mean, like, <laughs> some, some, like, Amish community that's never seen electricity before <laughs> kind of thing. <laughs> I mean, like. Oh, you mean like? Do you mean life. like suburbs, countryside? Sub no, that, suburbs isn't countryside. It's like. Okay. Okay. You know, a, a town where there's like twenty thousand people or less. Rural, rural, but not like in the boonies. Music is probably second to anime for inspiration for foreigners coming to Japan. I would say. You know what? The music could actually be first. I would say they're the two power three What do you think about that statement? Um, I definitely think anime is the number one. And the only reason why I say that is because every Japanese person 
I would meet at a bar or something when I came to Japan, they would be like, why'd you move to Japan? Do you, or do you like anime? Like, it's like, as soon as that's like one of the first questions they ask is like, do you like anime? I'm like, I instantly feel like, all right, they're judging me. <laughs> they uh, want to know what type of foreigner I am. <laughs> right. Uh, that's, see, this is why I don't like starting my story. It's like, oh, you know, anime was like, you know, just, uh. Yeah, yeah. Um, that's how you moved to Japan. Um, so what are you what are you currently doing now? Like, what's what's uh, what's your goal? Like, how how long do you want to stay? Or like, you know. Um. So what I'm currently doing now, uh, we're amidst this entire crisis. So life <laughs> is a little bit difficult, but I managed to find myself some I, uh, some work on an online conversation practice website. Okay. I and um, yep, I'm just. So barely... if you want to take some lessons with Roy, please visit Italki and search for. <laughs> you can't even search. It's like you just gotta like you... set the right filters and whatever. Uh, okay, okay. What filters would they have to to set if they want to take lessons with you? <laughs> I'll give you a link directly to my profile. But... All right, all right, all right. We'll do that. Link below in the description. <laughs> uh, thank you. Um, but yeah, it, it's. Fun, uh, easy, and convenient work for me to uh, maintain, uh, like not being in a deficit during this time. If you know what I mean? Yeah. It's yeah. not my life aspirations, but I'm doing it out of convenience. Oh, I just completely uh, with that. When I first arrived, though, uh, I wanted to try and do some freelance programming because I'm a programmer. Uh, oh, okay, too cool. Web developer programmer, and. I've kind of struggled with that a little bit because, like, these freelance uh, sites are uh, really competitive, especially well, in the Indian market. You know what? There's some like, there's some people I can connect you with that do a lot of that type of stuff. Um, yeah, uh, remind me later. Uh, I'll send you their their uh, their contact information and let you hook up that? with them, and you can ask them because yeah, I know some people who do a lot of that. Uh, I'm a little bit scared about working in a Japanese. Um, environment to be honest sure. my japanese isn't at business level i would say it's like jlpt n4 which is obviously not at a point where you can hold the conversation nor i don't know if you work. even want to work at a japanese company though that's it though i don't i don't because i'm australian i'm fucking lazy australians are well known for being casual like really casual in the workplace right <laughs> anything outside nine to five don't even bother emailing like an australian like they're so casual we're so lazy and Oh my, oh my That's goodness! That's a great place. I love that. <laughs> <laughs> oh my god. <laughs> it just went in so slowly too. I know. Like, and they were both looking at it. Oh my god. Um, but yeah, you, you dig? Like, yeah, yeah, yeah. So, I, I'm not about that. So that's why I'm like going for the combination of like part-time programming freelance and that's just like a really and that's just like such a difficult field and difficult and competitive field. Thank you so much for sharing. Um, it's it's cool Absolutely to kind of hear about your journey and uh, what your plans are for living in Japan and whatnot. And mm -hmm. uh, hopefully, you know, you'll be seeing a lot more of us all together. Uh, maybe doing yeah. some more collabs in the future. So again, if you want to check out uh, Roy and Amy's channel, um, be sure to click here, 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 all these different places. I'll probably try to link this. <laughs> and uh, <laughs> they make a lot of interesting videos. What's the? <laughs> would you have any other videos that are coming out? Um, at the moment, we're trying to. We're going to maybe do one about bike riding culture in Japan. Um, oh, okay, cool. There's huge bike riding culture in Japan. And would love to people, share that people who world. ride like super long distances, it's crazy. Mm -hmm. yep. uh, so yeah, hopefully you stay tuned for that. Sweet. All right. Well, um, see you guys next time, and uh, hope you guys enjoyed the the <laughs> wins and losses in Rocket League. <laughs> oh my god. <laughs> We're on autopilot the whole time, weren't we? <laughs> <laughs>